How's it going everyone? Welcome back to another video. Hope everyone had a happy Thanksgiving and is having a nice long weekend. Hopefully you're spending it with friends, family, doing what you'd like to do. Ripping some cards like we're about to here with some 2024 Topps Chrome Formula 1. I don't recall there being blasters for the prior years. There might have been a 23 blaster and I just never got my hands on it. Um... Yeah, so this first time we're going to see blasters. We have ripped some of the previous, I think we ripped 21 and 22 on the channel in years past for uh, full hobby boxes. But first time we're going to be checking out the retail blaster box, see what we can get out of here. Ryan actually found these at a Walmart. Him and I have not been able to get together to record, so it's just me today. I met him at Thanksgiving, or saw him at Thanksgiving, and he brought them for me to rip until... Um, yeah, until him and I can get together and record some other stuff. So we're going to go ahead and get into that or get into this, see what we can pull. Uh, there is a shot and I say a shot. I should say it is the longest of shots to pull autos out of these blasters. I've been looking at the odds on Topps website and I think it's an autograph out of one out of every 16,000 packs. And you can only pull the base chrome autos. You can't pull any... Uh, any auto parallels those are all going to be in the hobby packs or in the hobby boxes so um, let's go ahead and pull out this let's look at a box there's not much to here you really have one driver from each team gonna find four sapia refractor cards uh, look for numbered insert refractors I don't think numbered base comes out of here no no you're not going to find any numbered base cards. So numbered inserts. So that's a drawback already. I think it's like $30 a box. And it's you're really just, I guess this would be good for set collecting. Because I can't imagine, I mean, and I guess to just see see the product. We'll, we'll see what we can get out of it and see uh, how good or bad this version is. But I do like the design of the cards. I have looked into the design. They look really good in this uh, 2024 format. Go ahead and get a nice zoom of Verstappen award winners. Let's see who we have here. Not a chance I'm pronouncing this F3 driver. Got a Perez. And then um, Shields. So there is some F2, F3 drivers in here. You're also going to find principals or team managers and, and a lot of those guys in here as well. So um, you're going to have multiples of one person so 10 minutes got bernard there's a lewis hamilton and then you have a no leon future stars f3 so i yeah i don't i don't have high hopes for it this is one of these products it's like you know i enjoy watching f1 try to try to catch every way, race that i can live Got a Lando. That's a nice photo. Driver of the day. Got another Leon. Got an Oscar Piastri with a driver of the day. Then you got an Oscar Piastri with a helmet. McLaren F1 team. And then there's the Sapia of Isaac Hajar. I think he's an F2. Yeah. So nice looking card right there. But yeah, I think it's really just going to be, you know collecting the base set trying to collect your your guys at a pretty affordable rip like I said 30 35 bucks i don't remember exactly what ryan said um we did eat a lot of food that day and kind of went into a mini coma so or i did i don't know if he did max verstappen and the 52 throwback so of the autos you could pull there's two types of autos you could pull one of these 50 oh i'm sorry 1954 throwback you could pull one an autograph version of this the base auto or you could pull just the base chrome auto out of these out of these boxes. Any parallel or any other insert auto is a no-go. But you know, four cards per pack, and I think it's eight, six to eight packs per box. So getting a getting a decent amount of cards here. Got Montoya. Alonzo. See that looks that looks really good. I wish they would put like the team. You know, get the Aston Martin logo in there. And get, like, the Red Bull logo in there. That'd be really cool. Got another Shields. Got 
I remember when 2020 first came out, getting a base Lewis Hamilton, you know, if you were to try to get one on eBay, those things went for like several hundred bucks. They were just ridiculously priced. Those have all came down since then, but it was nuts. So, if this is your first time checking out the channel, feel free to smash that subscribe button. It helps us out a great deal, helps our channel grow. Especially if you're an F1 fan and, you know, we it's not often we get to rip F1. So, it is nice to, to see something different and see it on the channel. What do we got here? We got a Bartolo, Bart, Bartoletto. Whew. Man, struggling with some of these names. I'm not as up to F... Uh, I'm not as up to date with F2 as I was in years past. I think um, 2020, 2021, 2022, I was familiar with those F2 guys, but I'm not sure who some of these guys are. Especially some of these F3 guys. You got Joe Grand U. A few more packs. Oh, that's a cool photo. When uh, Red Bull, when they won the. Um, I'm pretty sure that's the Constructors' Championship photo. Yeah. Yeah, if you could read that sign back there, it does say Constructors' Champions. Another Lando driver of the day. Speed Demons Lando. And then a Yusuf... Oh, that's a Joseph Dufik. Dufik? So let me know your thoughts down below. What do you think of F1? Who's your favorite team? Are you going to pick up any of these blaster boxes? I thought I saw there's a mega version somewhere, but I haven't seen those anywhere. So, um, yeah, that would be a cool version of pool. Because I think they have more hits than these these blasters. Yuki Sonoda in the Speed Demons. And then a Richard Vashore. 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 I'm familiar with that driver. I'm just butchering his name. So... Again, appreciate everyone tuning in. Hope, again, hope you had a happy Thanksgiving. Hope it was everything, you know, ate all the food and pie and desserts that you could have. Michael Schumacher, he's a legend. Oscar Piastri, not a chance I'm pronouncing that. Kevin Magnuson. We got, what is that, Maria Marty? All right, so last pack and a dream. Can we find an auto that is probably like one in every 10 cases? I, I doubt it, so... I would just stick with a, a sapia of one of the current F1 drivers. That would be cool. Charles Leclerc. Kevin Magnussen. Sergio Perez. I think there's five cards in this pack. I'm going to have to review the footage because there's Joe in the recharged. And then there's an Albon in the sapia. So uh, my dream somewhat came true. Pulled a current F1 driver in the sapia. So that counts. Let's see if I got anyone else. I don't think I did. I got Joe in the Refractor. Oh, I did get Esteban. Mm. I forgot about Esteban Ocon, but I don't think he's drive. I don't think he has a drive for 25, but he is on the 24 grid. So yeah, let me know your thoughts down below. It's a fun rip. They're cool looking cards. They look great in this design, but you know, you're pulling a lot of guys from F2, F3, some of the lower tiers that I'm just not super familiar with. There's a lot of inserts, like you have the F1 sprint winner, insert you have the future stars i do i do like this 54 throwback you also have you know this is the base with piastri insert you got the grand prix driver of the day inserts so a lot of inserts a lot of a lot of chaos going on you also have the cars so yeah let me know your thoughts down below i'm curious to think what you um how you feel about 2024 f1 chrome how you feel about the blaster versions i just think they're kind of lacking i think there needs to be some sort of parallel and some sh better odds at an auto but i get it it's a very small sport you got 20 f1 teams on the grid 22 expanding actually in 2026 but 20 teams with you know you got reserve drivers and then you got all the f2 drivers you got all the f3 drivers and yeah you know, i don't know I don't know where I was going with that. But yeah, thank you everyone for tuning in. Hopefully, again, you had a wonderful Thanksgiving weekend. And until next time, y'all, catch you later.